Hi everyone, welcome back to Faith and Flower. I'm Robin, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I decorate for fall. But before I get started, I've got a quick tidy and cleanup to do. In the mornings, I like to let in as much light as possible, and we have had the pleasure of being able to open our windows lately, so I'm trying to get these shutters closed, and I always have to pull the valances out, and to do that, I have to get up on a chair, which is incredibly annoying, but I'm so grateful for the fall weather that we've been experiencing here in Texas. Usually, it's a lot later in the season before we're treated with that, but we have had some really nice days with mild weather, low humidity, and cool nights. So that has definitely got me in the mood for fall and I'm ready to bring in some of that fall feel into our home with some simple decor. But before I pull out the things that I like to decorate with, I like to make sure that the house is tidy first. And I left this morning to take Peyton before I could get a chance to tidy up and put a few things away in the kitchen, wipe down the countertops, that sort of thing. So I'm going to do that first. And then I'm going to head into the living room and give everything a good dusting so that when I set everything out, they will be put on a clean surface. And the house is really gonna look so much better after it's decorated and clean.
Texas isn't really known for its fall colors. A lot of things stay pretty much the same throughout the year, but there are a few signs outside of fall. We have some acorns on our oak trees. The wind is blowing. There's a little bit of crispness in the air and there's a little fall color here and there if you know where to look for it. So whether or not it looks like fall on the outside, I'm going to give our home that cozy fall feel on the inside and I'm super minimalistic about it. I have this small box where I keep the things that I like to bring out every year. Once in a while I add to it, but for the most part I just bring out a few items that I really enjoy and I change up how I display them from year to year and that's really fun for me, but I like to keep it simple so that when you walk into our home, it doesn't scream fall decor, but there are just a few subtle touches here and there. Like this mercury glass pumpkin, I got it a couple years ago, I think, and I know last year I had it displayed just like this on the coffee table, but I really like it on this silver tray and alongside this candlestick, which also has some mercury glass touches to it. It just is very elegant looking and it's rather understated, so it's a really nice center piece for that table. This sort of side table that we have in the corner of our living room is one that I really enjoy switching out the decor seasonally. So I decided to use this wooden pumpkin that I actually bought around the same time as the mercury glass one. It came from Home Goods. They always have a lot of great seasonal items, so if you're looking for something like that, definitely check them out. Understated simple decor is definitely my style, but even after looking at this table, I realized that it's just a little too plain even for me. So I started thinking about some other things that I could add to it. This silver apple was a wedding gift and a few years back I found a pear that was its perfect mate also at Home Goods. So I often get these out around this time of year and I thought that adding these to the table might give it some interest, but of course it took me a couple minutes to come up with a combination that I liked. Not bad, but I thought of one more thing that I wanted to add to this table, and that is this giant acorn that Patrick and I found on one of our recent walks. We have these all over the place. They come from our live oak trees, and I guess what they say about everything being bigger in Texas really is true. This little corner of our living room will be perfect for making a Halloween display that I know is gonna make Peyton really happy. But I had to figure out how to hang something on the rock wall that we have here, so I came up with the idea of wedging a toothpick in there. It worked great. <laughs> the little cardboard sign that I wanna hang here is very lightweight, and the toothpick is not really noticeable. Plus, I like the contrast of the dark sign against the white stone. And beneath it, I'm displaying our little jack-o'-lantern. This was something that belonged to the kids when they were little, and we've had it out for every Halloween, so it has some sentimental value you. It's even been broken and repaired, so the cracks give it some extra character. Of course, what would decorating for fall be without some entryway drama? <laughs> And of course mine again is understated, but I love this wreath that I found at Home Depot and Peyton picked out a jack-o'-lantern also from Home Depot a couple years ago. And I keep bringing this back because I still love it just as much as the day I bought it. It's a little bit unusual. It's made out of sort of wood shavings and glitter. It reminds me of mums <laughs> from this time of year. And so now our entryway is welcoming and maybe we'll even get some trick-or-treaters this year.
remember the wheat stems? <laughs> you guys had some great suggestions and I really appreciated it. And I've been mulling over what I might do with this. And inside my box, I had some silk flowers that I usually get out this time of year and put in a vase. But I decided to make an arrangement in this vase along with the wheat and see what I could come up with. And I was really happy with the result. And that is it. <laughs> I warned you that my style is very minimalistic and simple, but I really do feel like our home feels like fall. It feels cozier, but it's understated and elegant, and I am enjoying it. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'd love to know what you are doing to bring some fall into your home. And if you're new here, I want to invite you to subscribe. It's easy, it's absolutely free, and if you activate the bell icon, you'll get a notification so that you never miss a video. Thank you guys for spending your time with me today. I look forward to talking with you in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week.